Hello and welcome everyone back to Levy Advantage. Today we are discussing something new. Recently, National Instruments has changed the icon of the certification into the badge format. Not only this, ENI has also revamped its certified LabVIEW Associate Developer Examination, the way it is taken. If you guys are aware of this, National Instruments has got three level certification levels. The first one being the Certified LabVIEW Associate Developer, CLAD, followed by the Certified LabVIEW Developer and Certified LabVIEW Architect. Uh, in this video, we'll discuss about the new format of the Certified LabVIEW Associate Developer. Uh, this is the first starting certification examination uh, with validity is two years. It is and one hour examination uh, with multiple choice questions uh, which you can give at any Pearson View Center. So if you look over there, there are several links which will provide you all the required information about this certification examination. Uh, I've already loaded one of the link over there uh, which uh, shows what is the requirements for the CLAD examination. If you click on the preparation guide for CLAD, you will get two formats. Uh, I think you already know that LabVIEW is now available on the next gen version as well as the current gen that is the 2017, which has been launched recently. Uh, here I've already opened one of the PDF on the 2017 version and if you look very carefully the CLAD examination for LabVIEW has been changed from the end of July, that is the July 31st, 2017. So now on, if you are going to take the examination, the format is going to be uh, completely new. Uh, if you look very carefully, the highlighted items, the hardware section has been added. Uh, overall, there are like a four topic list. Uh, the first one being the hardware, followed by the LabVIEW programming environment, that be programming fundamentals and programming based practices. So if you click over there, you will know what are the requirements. I will go back to the top. Okay. So as you can see, there are like a different requirements uh, which you have never seen before. So that basically means the question banks you might have collected before regarding the CLAD. Uh, they are still important uh, in terms of a few of the topics but the hardware is completely different. Uh, the main reason why this is done is because to improve the proficiency and competency of the certified library associate developers in the industry. Uh, because uh, we uh, as a industry workers, as the uh, companies who want to hire the people and the people who want to employ them uh, as well as the engineers and the developers who are interested in the automated tests and then the uh, LabVIEW environment. Uh, we want their competency to be tested thoroughly and proficiently. So if you uh, go down there, uh, as you can see, the CLAD examination, uh, as you can see, it just says that like a 42 question multiple choice examination, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, only 40 equations will be marked. Uh, the pass marks remains the same. 70% is the pass marks. That means you have to score 28 out of 40 to become qualified as a certified lab associate developer. So these are the logistics of which remains the same. Now, if we go further down, uh, this is the same highlighted item we discussed before, okay? Uh, so, uh, the CLAD is tested around a which like environment uh, the CLAD is going to work on. For example, automated test, high channel count, data acquisition, or domain support. Now, coming back to the first topic lists, uh, hardware, as we discussed before, 10% uh, uh, of the exam question will be asked from the hardware sections. 
and uh, you will know that uh, this is relatively different from the previous examination but if you go down further down below uh, the rest of the equations are very similar to what has been asked before so the key difference will be the uh, introduction of the hardware and then the TACMX APIs which are actually the low-level APIs to perform your data acquisition and measurement tasks so now if you look very carefully the sample examination for the hardwares as you can see these are basic concepts of data acquisition system uh, if you move further down uh, you will see more and more uh, questions based on DAC MX APIs so this will be the first part of your examination based on the hardware So lots of questions on hardware. Uh, finally, you will come into the LabVIEW programming environment, uh, which will be the second part. Okay, uh, as you can see, like the resources are provided over there. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Please go thoroughly into this one. And uh, these are very similar to what you have been expecting uh, before the change of the format. This will be relatively similar. But more concepts on like uh, LabVIEW uh, in this context. And finally, we'll move into the LabVIEW programming fundamentals, uh, file IOs, uh, loops, arrays, uh, different concepts uh, you will be asked. Uh, this PDF is available in the internet itself uh, I'll share the link below where you can actually go and see and then the final one will be the programming best practices uh, this actually will introduce you more into like uh, going forward towards the certified lab developer uh, certification so and finally there's an appendix attached over there how you can simulate the DAC for the CLED preparation and different uh, modules yeah, you can actually use it uh, followed by the DACMX VI uh, API and which you need to familiarize yourself uh, you know, before you actually go into the examination and finally the solution for all the questions attached here within uh, this is a quick overview on how to prepare for the CLAD examination and uh, the Yana actually believes that like this is going to improve the quality of the CLADs coming in as well as uh, the companies that will be looking to hire the future lab developers uh, and associate developers in the future and another uh, good resource is the daily CLAD if you have never uh, viewed before uh, you must be familiar otherwise you can go and then google daily CLAD which is found in the uh, ENI discussion forums I hope uh, this uh, video has been informative to you uh, please uh, like share and comment on this video and I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and prepare well for the new CLAD if you are not certified yet thank you very much